Hey everybody, it's Coach Callaway. We got a fantastic lesson for you today out of our video playbook series. We're gonna be discussing a drop back passing concept that we call sell. Now we use the sell concept against zone coverages, especially cover three and cover four, and it really exploits those defensive coverages. We've got a lot of wonderful detail for you and a lot of great video at every level of football. We're gonna be sharing video during the lesson from the pro game, the collegiate game, and even the youth game. So no matter what level of football you're coaching at, you're gonna find benefit in today's lesson. Make sure that you hang in there to the end because we've got a special offer for you at the end of the video today where you can find out how we'll send you a free copy of our complete sale playbook. So you wanna make sure that you get that information at the end of the video today. So let's go to the board and get this lesson started. Coaches, did you know CallawayFootball.com is the nation's number one coaching resource? We have a tremendous network of coaches and are building a training center for coaches at all levels. Inside our training center, you'll find lessons like our video playbook series, team management, practice management, and overall coaching resources that's second to none and much more. Successful coaches never stop educating themselves. Get logged in today to our training center at www.callawayfootball.com. Thanks for listening to the Coaching Academy podcast on the Callaway Football Network. Relevant, educational, entertaining. Coach Callaway talking all things football. In today's lesson, we're going to be going over our passing concept out of our drop back game. It's a passing concept and play we call sell, and it really describes and uh, shows you how you can exploit basically a deep zone coverage where you've got cover three or cover four being deployed against you. All right, let's talk about sell. So anytime the defense is in a cover three uh, where they've got a three deep, four under coverage, you can kind of see this illustration over here. Uh, to the right of this Clemson here. We're going to get to this play in just a minute on video about Clemson running the sale concept against this defense. But they are in a, a deep cover three zone right here with four underneath coverage as what's being deployed right here. And they run sale successfully. We're going to take a look at a lot of video today. So uh, hang in there and we've got some great stuff for you. So anytime you see cover three or even cover four where you're in a four deep three under coverage, you really can exploit that defensive zone uh, scheme with the sale concept. So here's what it looks like uh, when we line up. We like to run it out of our trips formation, which is what we call JAG. So our play call right down here, you can see my mouse is JAG 80 sell would be the play that you see on your screen right here. And sell is a three receiver concept, giving the quarterback a three level read. So you've got three receivers getting out into the combo. Cell, the sell route is also referred to as an OVS, which stands for outside vertical stretch where we're going to take uh, the combination, the typical combination is the outside receiver is going to run the deep vertical, which is going to stretch the defense. We have an underneath intermediate route. So we've got this intermediate route here, which is the sail route. And then we also have a short route. We can run a little spot or a tap route, or typically we can run a, a, a flat route where we're getting out here into the flats. So depending on the age group that you're coaching and the level of football that you're coaching, these three uh, routes can be at different depths, but the vertical route is pretty self-explanatory. We're stretching, taking the top off. This, under, uh, this intermediate route can be around 15 yards. That's how we run it at the high school level, or the older youth levels can uh, pull it off at around 12 to 15 yards. And then that underneath route is just a short little five-yard out route, flat route, or what we call a little spot route right here as it's diagrammed up on the screen for you. When we run it out of this trips formation, we have this backside receiver run, what we call a hunt or an option route, where we're giving him the ability to hunt for some grass. So as he gets out to about 10 yards, if he sees some grass in here that he can get set up in and give his target to the quarterback, he may break that route off and, and set it up. But if he sees a, a flaw in the defense where maybe a free safety, that cover three safety has come over, to protect against this three-sided combo over here. He might run a post and we can hit that post as well. So we give him the option to either set up here in the uh, about 10 yard area or run that post route is something we call hunt where he's hunting for grass on the backside. Now, as far as different formations, there's a lot of different formations and you can get the uh, complete sale playbook out at the website at callawayfootball.com and it'll show you how to run sell out of multiple formations using motions and all kinds of creative ways we're not going to go into all those today but we'll show quite a bit of video for you so a basic sell route we'll look over here on the left side of the screen it puts a lot of pressure on that curl flat defender so uh, when you have uh, uh, the inside receiver here in this case out of our ace formation 
We're using the running back as our third receiver in the combo. He's coming out here in the flat, and then we have the sail route behind him at about 15 yards, and then the vertical route stretching. We're taking that cornerback deep out of there, and we're putting a lot of pressure on the curl flat defender right here. So he's got to make a decision to either come up and – play this uh, short route here, this fade route or the spot route that we run, or he's going to sink and cover this intermediate route. And our quarterback can make a, a read off of that curl flat defender and usually throw it into this window right here. Once we stretch this cornerback deep and then we put this curl flat defender and we've got, a, we've got this route crossing his face, they will typically tend to come up and leave this window right here on the cell route wide open for us. So it, again, puts a lot of pressure on the curl flat defender right there. So we've run this at every level, so it doesn't matter what level you're coaching. If you're coaching a youth team, a high school team, a college team, a pro team, obviously, they run this sale concept at every level, and we've had great success at the high school and the youth level. So let's take a look at some examples on video. So here's an example of the Cardinals running this right here against the Saints. And in the previous diagram that I just showed you where we use the running back to run that flat route, you'll notice the Cardinals are going to use the same concept right here. They're going to use this running back to be the short uh, flat route runner. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald here in the slot is going to be the sail route runner. And then, of course, that outside receiver is the uh, vertical runner. So let's go take a look at the video and see how they ran this play live. All right, I want to point out a few things in this example. Let's hit play real quick as they run the film here. A couple things. First off, notice these three defenders right here. We've got the corner the two corners and the free safety, they're in a, in a deep third cover three uh, scheme here. So they're dropping deep. You can see them backpedaling. And also I want you to watch this hole defender right here, the Saints hole defender. He's going to be influenced by this running back running this short flat route. So as this running back comes out here, you'll notice his eyes uh, get distracted right here. And he'll actually even take a step towards this running back before Carson Palmer delivers the ball to Larry Fitzgerald on this outbreaking sell route. So let's watch this hole defender right here get influenced right there. And the window right behind him, wide open, a big gain, nice execution on the sale concept right there by the Cardinals. All right, here's another great example of the sale concept, really just chewing up the defense here. Marshall's in a cover three. As you can see, these three uh, defensive backs here, the two corners and the free safety. As we roll the film here, you'll see them getting into a drop. But I also want you to notice, again, this hole defender or this curl flat defender, how he's influenced by this running back coming out here in the flat. Again, the cell concept really just chewing up this cover three concept right there. So right there, you can see that curl flat defender is really influenced by this flat route runner, leaving this hole right, right there. The long and short routes are covered, and we've got a huge window for the ball to be delivered in. Really nice route, good execution. Again, chewing up that cover three concept. All right, so in this example, I want to point out a couple things. A little bit different, a little bit creative way to run the, run the play sale. Uh, first off... <clears throat> This uh, player right here is going to go in motion and become the number two receiver who will eventually be the sail route runner. And they're using this backside tight end to be the, cross, the short crossing or the flat route runner. So let's roll the film and take a look at how it looks, how the Chiefs run it. There goes your motion guy at snap of the ball. You can see the tight end right here getting ready to be the flat runner coming across a shallow cross. And he is influencing these two defenders right here. So we've just got to deliver the ball right over this defender right here into this window, and we've got a nice execution, a nice completion for a big game. All right, and here's, here's the uh, original screen uh, shot, the picture I showed you at the very beginning of the lesson today where we, we saw here against Clemson, they were running this three deep, four underneath zone coverage. And uh, Clemson right here is going to be very creative and run the sail route out of a different look. So they've got kind of a almost a two-by-two two look right here. Uh, they're going to use motion. This motion wide receiver number three right here is going to be the short flout runner, kind of run a swing route out here in the flats. And this backside receiver right here is going to be the sail route runner. It's going to run a, a deep crossing route to get out into the uh, deep flat the intermediate route. And then, of course, that number one receiver up at the top of the screen is going to be the vertical stretch runner. And, uh, and we'll see how Clemson uses motion and uh, backside receivers to come across the formation to run sail. All right, so let's take a look at this Clemson. Again, this is a creative uh, way to run the sail concept. Well, we've got the motion guy right here, and uh, he's going to basically run a swing route instead of a flat route. But again, he's influencing these zone defenders, as you can see right there. We've got the sail route coming across the middle of the field. You can see right there, but the quarterback goes ahead and takes a shot on that vertical route. 
boom for a touchdown. So let's, let's, let's look at that one more time in full speed. Just let you take a look at it. So he's reading from deep to shallow. The quarterback here is going to look at the vertical route. If he thinks he's got the vertical route, he's going to go ahead and take that shot, which he does for a touchdown, Clemson. Great concept, creative way to run that sale concept. All right, youth coaches, I want to show you some nice plays from the youth level. So this can, as I mentioned, can work at any level. This is an actual seventh and eighth grade team that we coached at the uh, Callaway football staff coached recently run in the sale concept out of our JAG formation. As I mentioned, when I showed you the play sheet a little earlier, uh, a little bit off the screen right here, but you can see we've got three receivers, one, two, three. We're in our JAG single back set with a uh, backside receiver. As I mentioned, the backside wide receiver, when we're in our trips formation, will run what we call a hunt route or an option route. He will either get to 10 yards and kind of set up, or if there's no free safety, like in this case right here, we've got a lot of grass, he'll carry the post. So let's run that, and I want to just get you to take a look at a couple things. First off, you can see the quarterback right here, his eyes went to this post, which he really had, but he noticed this linebacker kind of dropping into the middle of the field, so he takes his eyes back over here to the vertical route. So as we run the film right there, you'll see the spot route, the sail route right behind it, and the vertical route going deep, and actually completes this for a touchdown. So let's, let's run that back real quick and just see how it looks full speed for you. Again, this is a 7th and 8th grade quarterback right here dropping a dime for a touchdown on the sale concept on the vertical route. All right, here's a, another example for you of uh, what we call JAG 80 sell. Uh, this is the same team, the 7th and 8th grade team that we coached. Uh, different game, however, but the uh, same team. You can see we're lined up in our JAG, which is our trip formation out here to the right where we're going to run the sale concept. So our number one receiver is going to run the vertical. Our number two receiver is going to run the little spot route, and our inside number three receiver is going to be run that 10-yard uh, sell route. But as I mentioned, on the backside of that, we run a option route. So depending on the coverage, our backside receiver can either run about 10 yards and set up and find some grass, or he can carry it to the post if there's no free safety or no deep middle coverage. In this case, there are man coverage across the board, so our quarterback knows pre-snap, oh, man, we've got a good – Good matchup right here, and he's instead of running to the sale side, he's going to go ahead and hit this backside receiver for a touchdown on the post route. So here, let's run the film. You can see, man, we got our we got him beat. Boom, drops a dime in there again, touchdown. All right, one last example for you. Again, this is our seventh and eighth grade team uh, in a different game. We're going to run sale out here. This is Jag left sale, so we've got our trips out to the left side of the screen. And we're going to actually complete the little spot route this time. So it gives you an example of hitting all the receivers, all four receivers in this passing concept and the examples that we've used today. So let's run the film and take a look at it. You'll see a couple things as the quarterback looks out here. First off, this sail route, as he starts to break it off to the sail route, he influences both of these defenders. So our, our short route here, the spot route that we call it, is where he, he goes ahead and delivers the ball. As soon as these two defenders turn their hips, he delivers that ball right in there. Let's back that up and see it full speed here for you. So, again, watch those two defenders get influenced by that sell route. Boom, hits the spot route. And, again, we get about a 15-yard gain right there on a little four- or five-yard pass. So, again, coaches, that's how it's done. And you've seen how we hit all four receivers in the sell concept in all these examples that we have. All right, I hope all that is, information has been beneficial to you. I want to remind you to go out to CallawayFootball.com and get logged into our training center and become a member. If you'll do that, we'll send you a free copy of the sale playbook. So to get a free copy of the entire sale playbook where it outline our protection calls and how we block it, what the 80 series means, different formations, how to use formations and motions and things like that to run the sale concept. It's a complete breakdown of how to run sale and you can get that free copy of that playbook by going out to the website and becoming a free member this week. So all week from Monday through uh, next Monday or next Sunday night, if you become a free member out at the website, it costs you nothing. We'll get you a free copy of that entire sale playbook. And you can see over here on the right side of the screen what free membership gives you. It gives you a lot of great access to a lot of great content out at the website. And our premium members, if you choose to upgrade, you can do that. It is only $59 a year, and it opens up the entire website for you. You can see the right column right here. You get in that premium member library, and it gives you all the video drills and, and all the entire playbook and all kind of great stuff for you out at the website if you become a premium member. But for the next week, if you just join up at the free level, we'll send you the sale playbook. So go out and take advantage of that at CallawayFootball.com. 
Anyway, we hope it's been beneficial to you and look forward to talking to you again next week. And don't forget that Friday podcast coming up uh, this Friday where we will have it out on our Spreaker.com podcast site as well as iTunes podcast site and, of course, at YouTube. Or just go out to CallawayFootball.com and you get access to it all. So until next time, I hope to see you on the field.